don't forget to subscribe, click that button below to become an official Glitter Critter, join our Glitterful world, and help us reach 700,000 Glitter Critters. Today, I'm going to be showing you my summer room tour, yay! I'm super duper excited to show you my new summer room. I'm also going to be announcing something that I am super duper excited about. I've been working on it for months now, and that is my very own product line. Ah, I'm so excited about it. I am going to be launching three products, and I'm also going to give you a quick sneak peek of one of the products. This is my product. Oh my gosh, I designed this. This is actually an emoji pillow. And I didn't want them to look like the regular emojis because they already have pillows like that out. I wanted to put my own spin on it and do different colored emojis. And not only that, it says Glitter Forever 17 on the back. So I'm going to be launching more products after this throughout the year. So keep checking my storefront, which I will have linked in the description below for you to go and check out now because I'm going to be releasing new products all through Throughout the year. So another awesome thing about these products is they are made right here in North America and they are also free shipping so you don't have to pay for shipping. Let's go ahead and let's get into the room tour shall we? Okay, don't scream. I know I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I've been working so hard on my room tour video all day today and I didn't have time to film, but I really wanted to include this in this video because in case you haven't heard, I made the top 30 in the NYX Face Awards. <laughs> my hair, oh well. I really just wanted to make this quick little message to thank you guys so much for your love and support. I love you so much and I'm not just saying it to get votes. I do need your vote because if I don't get your vote then I won't be able to go through and I truly appreciate each and every one of you who have faith in me and continue to support me. I worked so hard to get in this competition. Just in case you haven't seen, make sure you go and you check out my entry. I'll be sure to link it below and I promise that if you vote for me, I will continue to work as hard as I possibly can to please you guys and to make you proud. So please continue to campaign for me and share the hashtag Team Glitter Critter and Team Breland. So I also wanted to let y'all know that if you do get me through to the second round, I plan to add a whole nother prize package to my epic summer giveaway coming up. Right now I have three prizes, but I will add a fourth prize if we get through to the top 20. And I'm also so happy to have all of my YouTube best friends to support me as well, such as Catherine, Julie, Rosalie, Jen, and Haley. So I'm pretty sure you're ready to get into this video. Again, I love you so much. I can't stop saying how much I love you. I love you so much. Mwah. Let's get started. Okay, Glitter Critters, so here we are. As you can see, a full view of my summer room. I worked super hard on it, and I did a lot of rearranging, and then I also added some new things to the room. So let's go ahead and let's start on the right side and then just make our way around the entire room. So I'm also going to be showing you some of the cute little DIYs that I did that you could do too in this room. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with this side of the room. Now I didn't really do much with these shelves. I just sort of arranged everything to look a little bit neater. Okay, so here I have my minion that I got at Universal Studios in LA. And and he is on top of some of my Victoria's Secret boxes, which you could use Victoria's Secret boxes to decorate your room because a lot of them are really colorful and fun and they're pretty and I use them to keep things in. So moving down, I have all of my makeup palettes in this. 
Scents. And this is like all of my Coastal Scents makeup palettes. And then here I have some of my pretty palettes that I like to leave out just to look cute. And down here I have like this little owl that I got at the dollar store a long time ago just to add some color to the shelf. A random hat. And my basket of bunny ears and bows. So I didn't really mention that I took my Martha Stewart banner there and it's sort of like right above my DIY desk. So then I have my donut hats hanging up here and actually did a video, a DIY, on how to do these donut hats. And this is where I film all of my DIYs and then under that I have my little tackle box type thing. It's like my little pink box that I got for Christmas. My mom got this for me. So if you saw my Christmas haul, I got these containers on Amazon from my mom for Christmas. So on this shelf, I have my little DIY gumball machine right there. Behind that, I just have like some Victoria's Secret perfumes, One Direction perfume and lotion set. And then I have some of my Bath and Body Works lotions, which I always keep these in here. Um, I probably should start to use them. So then on the bottom shelves, I just have some random stuff that honestly, I just stuck it there. <laughs> okay, so I am sure you're wondering all about the bed set, the pillows, this beautiful, magical, fairy light canopy that I put up here. I pinned some fairy lights to the ceiling and I strung the fairy lights back and forth and you could make this canopy for your room as well it's super cheap to make all you need are some cheap sheer white curtains and some fairy lights and then what I did I wanted to give this room like a really summery beachy look so I took this matchstick curtain which I got at Big Lots and I just hung that up above the bed and then I did a DIY on this cute little picture here I just love the look of these shutters they kind Kind of like make the room look like there's another room behind it. It sort of just gives the room a little bit more character. So on the shutters what I did was I took some of these cute little camper lights and I just strung them up and down the top of the shutters and I put some Polaroid photos of me and David. So if you're wondering where I got this bedspread it is from Big Lots and I believe it's a queen size set that cost $40 and it also came with three pillows. So here are my gorgeous Glitter Forever 17 pillows that I am so proud of. So just in case you're wondering, the pillows are made of sort of like this canvas texture and the reason I love the canvas texture is because it makes them a lot more durable. Like you could throw them around, you could scratch them, you could bite them, which I don't think you would want to bite them, but if you wanted to, you could chew on these babies. I love the quality like the quality is so high in these pillows. It's the most amazing thing to have these pillows have our channel name like this is our channel like we built this channel together if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't have these pillows I wouldn't even have people to sell these pillows to and I just really hope that y'all enjoy them so make sure you let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and links to purchase these pillows are below so I also have some more pillows on the bed these two pillows came with the bed set and then I have my heart pillows the fluffy one was from Amazon then I got the orange one at Family Dollar this one came with the bed set alright then let's go ahead and move on to these magical hanging lanterns and they really just give your room some color and some magic alright so below the hanging lanterns does this drink look familiar if you're from the 90s from the 90s <laughs> if you've lived in the 90s you know exactly what this drink is and you've even tried it and that's a surge drink so the next thing that I have I love pinwheels because they're so cute and they I don't know why they're just they remind me of like being free in the wind in the summer so up here I have these cute little butterflies which I made in a DIY video so here's my pegboard type thing it's like a magnetic board and then behind it there's like a cork board so you can put all sorts of different things on here whether it be magnetic or cork and I really really love this thing I've used it in so many of my videos look at what the duct tape is 
The duct tape is macaroni and cheese duct tape. Taking duct tape like this, like really decorative duct tape, and putting it around your light switches or just around a picture frame or something like that in your room, because it's sort of like you're framing the item in your room and you're making it stand out even more. So moving over, I have my pink Polaroid camera, which I will be giving away four of these if we can get to the top 20 in the next face awards. So then here here are the letters that I DIY'd myself. So on the desk here, I have all of my pencils, my duct tape, clips, all sorts of little things, and I keep them in this cute little container that I got at a flea market. So I got these little clips at the dollar store, I think it was the Dollar General, the butterfly ones as well, and then I got the duct tape at Big Lots and the Dollar Tree. So I got this really cute Disney cup at the flea market for like 50 cents, and then my glitter glue, because the only glue I like to use is glitterful. So then on the desk, I just have some notebooks, and then I have like this cute little popcorn container that I got at the Dollar Tree. I just thought it looked super cute. And then I got some more books, some more pinwheels, and another DIY gumball machine, which I'll link below. And this beautiful little Lassie book, I don't know if I told y'all about this, but I got it at the flea market, and it has the most gorgeous detail on the cover. So here's the inside of the Lassie book, and it's got like this cute little map in it and then when you turn the page look at that isn't that the most gorgeous detail and it was printed in the 1940s so here I have my nail polish collection right above the desk so I got my desk on Amazon if you want to check it out I will link it below so my fluffy chair came with my DIY desk I went to the fabric store and got some super fluffy fabric and I had David staple the fabric on top so before I forget I got this rug at Big Lots for $20 let's go ahead and move on to this locker that I have in my room and in the locker I just loaded it up with some random things like some beach towels a cute little case and then I have my beauty con bag there and then some magnets and some pins some random nail polish there and of course a calendar which I've never written on so I put my lamp in here and yes I know I have pictures of only my face on the lamp that wasn't intended okay I'm not that conceited and then I have these two little cups here that I got at the Dollar General store and I just thought they looked really cute and colorful. So let's not forget this gorgeous locker chandelier and lights up the entire locker when the batteries aren't dead. So underneath this window I have my entire makeup collection and if you want to see that I did a video on everything in this chest which I will be sure to link in the description below so make sure you check it out. And then of course I have more nail polish because I am a nail polish addict. And last thing on this shelf is my pretty little jewelry holder here. Okay, so now for a super cute and fun DIY, and that is this beautiful light waterfall. So what I did was I took one strand of fairy lights and I just strung them back and forth. By taking a sheer curtain, it diffuses the light and it makes it look like a bokeh look. So below my light waterfall, I just have like my little Bethany Moda beach bag hanging there just for fun. And then I have my bean bag chair down there with some pillows as well as this super comfy blue chair all right so one of the last things that I wanted to show you is my makeup station here and I also just love using this in my videos because it's so Hollywood glam I love it so it is a shanty makeup station and if you want to know where I got it I'll be sure to link that in the description below okay glitter critters so that's all for this room tour make sure you let me know in the comments what you think and also don't forget to go and check out those amazing pillows over there that I'm so proud of. And also, I really, really need your support in the NYX Face Awards. Make sure to use the hashtag Team Glitter Critter and Breland. So I thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful day. I love you. Bye!